but so like how do you feel about like submissiveness in uh relationships like explain submissiveness in your times a woman being submissive yeah uh like traditionalism a man got to be there to make sure that his wife is good protect his wife the household the children the woman is there for loving nurturing you know but the woman ain't always the woman ain't the main one there to be cooking cleaning that's a that's a teamwork thing that's our house mm -hmm. you know when it comes to like the kids those are our kids but our but the wife is there for nurturing the kids mm -hmm. the man is there to be like yo to lead the kids you're the main role model right there you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but you know a relationship is like a business man you know what i'm saying and if you play play your role and i play my role we'll have a very successful relationship the thing is people don't want to play their roles you know you got husbands you got you got men who are husbands but they don't want to be a husband you got women who are wives but they don't want to be wives mm -hmm. boyfriends don't want to be boyfriends girlfriends don't want to be girlfriends they just want the title they're only doing it for the title you know like i said we talked about that before how people are always um on social media as soon as they get married my wife my wife my husband my husband it's like did you only get married so that you can say that you have somebody um off, pa off papers i mean on papers or did you get married for what it stands for and what you're supposed to do in that marriage because a lot of times i'm looking at it like you're only married for just the title because y'all aren't doing anything else i agree and um you see and my, my thing with submissiveness is like when and i would get into it because he'll say Oh, I'm I'm very insubordinate. I'm not doing. I'm not being submissive. And I would be like, well, what is submissiveness to you? Because I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as your significant other. I cook. I clean. I pay my part of the bills. I look at relationships like you don't get in a relationship with somebody and you're doing something for somebody just to throw it back in their face. If you're gonna do something for them, do it. You know, but. Don't use that in, a, in an argument. Don't act like, you know, I'm just sitting back, you know, just using you. And I'm never doing what I can to help you out. Yeah. It's not fair, you know. I, I, I hate people in relationships that throw stuff in their significant other's faces. You know, because it's times where I've uh, done more. And I don't throw it in your face of what I do for you. And, you know, some guys used to take would take a woman making more money than them and they'd be like intimidated yeah or some shit. Like, like they that. feel insecure about that or something yeah because they feel like they're the man and they're supposed to make more nah i never felt like that i was like yo she deserved that she, she worked hard she got a yeah. higher education than i did she worked harder than me she deserved what, what she got but you know i was never you know insecure about that i would tell people like yo my girl got this job she works for the, this job and she makes X amount more than me. And people are like, what? You don't feel no way? Nah, why should I? You right. know, she worked for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I had a best friend and he had a, that same exact job, made that same exact money, and I, that's my best friend, would I feel some type of way my, my, about my best friend? No, no like, I wouldn't. You, you know? work hard for what you truly want. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I respected that shit. But yeah, that's, that's crazy. It's just like, if I'm gonna be with you, that's just like, Okay, so I always did things with love, you know. I felt like I was a, a loving person. I, I don't think that, you know, um, he's chastising me for that. I'm sure that he lets people know that I'm a great woman. He's probably like, man, she just bitch complain too much. I ain't had time for this shit. But um, do you believe that people can truly change yeah. for the better? Yeah. Even if it was like a past relationship that you were in be in a past relationship and you like um you know nah that ain't gonna change i feel like everybody can change and, and, and does no matter i feel like under any circumstances any and everybody can change they they just have to want to change mm -hmm. if the person does not want to change they're never going to change mm -hmm. that's the thing uh, a personal change is a full-time job like 
anybody can change. You gotta change old habits. You gotta change old ways. You gotta change the way you used to think. You gotta change the way you carried yourself. You gotta change the way how pessimistic you are. You gotta be more optimistic. You gotta, it's a job. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you're not the same person you were six months ago. Do you feel like, like you're the same person? Mm, I was ago? just about to say that. I'm, I feel like um, with this breakup, I feel like I've truly changed. Yeah. I've changed the way I think. And that was been a, it's I've been a I've changed job. the way I move. You know, like, you don't even know. I don't watch TV like I used to. Like, I used to watch TV all the time. When I got off work, couldn't wait to watch TV. I don't watch TV. I'm always watching self-express, um, self-learning videos. I'm always reading more online of how to, you know, progress myself or um, learn new things um, so that I can become more successful in life. I've jot down a lot of notes and ideas and all of that. I truly feel like this relationship, this breakup has changed me in ways that I didn't ever see in the beginning because truth be told, when I married, I never, ever saw myself ever being self-employed. Never thought about it. I used to be like, hmm, I wonder what it would be like to work for myself, but what is it that God want me to do? I used to always say, I want to be self-employed, but I never knew what I wanted to do, so I always looked at it like, maybe I'll just find a great job, and, and I can just make some really good money with this job, and be okay with it. Like we talked about last night, some people are okay with just being in one place. And that was my mentality, but when I got with Ray, and I saw how ambitious he was with his business and stuff, I used to be like, dang, I want to work for myself too. This man sets his own schedule. He can get up and go when he wants. He can take vacations when he wants. He doesn't have to report to anybody. And I like that. And I'm like, I want to do that. I want, Yeah, I want to be just like him. I want to work and I want to be able to wake up when I wake up. Yeah. You know, so I started thinking like, what is it that I can do to be self-employed? And then I would talk to him and be like, what do you think I'm good at? You know, what do you think that I can do to be self-employed? And he's like, mm, you, 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 you're very talented. You can do a lot of things. You know how to do parties. But then I, I felt like I didn't like doing it. So I'm like, well, that yeah. definitely is not going to work. I used to do that. I'm yeah, like, that's I'm not going to gonna work because I don't like doing parties. Then I'm like, cooking. I love cooking. But then I'm like, but where am I going to get the money to buy the groceries? Where am I going to get the money to get this stuff going? You know, so I looked at like, well, that's out of the question too. You know, so I started crossing them out, but I'm like, damn, I don't know what it is that I can do. And I just, you know, and I felt like maybe he just wasn't patient enough with me because I'm like, it's something that I truly can do, but I just don't know what it is. And I felt like maybe I was being selfish because I wanted him to financially provide for me to be self-employed. But then I looked at the benefits of it. Like if he can help me financially, then I can pay him back and we can reap the benefits together. But that was just my own thinking, you know, because I always look at it like with me, if I had the money he made and he wanted me to help him with something, I would do it because that's just how my heart is. I'm, I'm always, I've always been a giver, you know, no matter what, but some people are just not as giving as others. Yeah. Have you ever thought about this breakup being a blessing? Um, I look at it like the, you know, I look at it as a blessing in a, in a way, um, but I look at it like, you know, maybe it's a temporary. I tell myself that it's temporary. God pulled me from this. Somebody pulled me out of this because. Well, obviously it's temporary, but you yeah. don't think it's a blessing? Like, so you can focus yeah. on you? And that's what I think. I'm like, maybe this is a blessing because it's allowing me to see myself from the outside looking in yeah. i can actually see how i really was in my relationship and maybe this is going to teach me how to be the, a better person the next go around and then i'll be even better financially you know for myself because i was my vision was cloudy in the, in, in the relationship because i was i look at myself now and i'm like i was only thinking about love i wasn't thinking about the other important aspects of the relationship I was solely like, I want to be in love, but you know, this is my first relationship as a grown up. I want to be in love. I want to be married. I want to have more kids, but I never thought about how I can be as far away financially. 
all I thought was, oh, if I just work a decent, you know, job, I'll be able to keep providing. But the breakup is a blessing because it's allowing me to do more than just what I was doing. It's allowing me to be able to build more than what I previously had. And you know, all the, so, your weaknesses are starting to become strengths. Yeah, and, and I feel like maybe if God put us back together, if we're meant to be together, I truly feel like I won't be the same person I was the first go round.